A lot to sift through when you take a listen to Kyrie Irving at the podium. But the one thing that did stand out to me, Perk, was that when he was asked whether or not he would be coming back to play with KD, he talked about being committed to the franchise, building the franchise as if he's in the front office and not playing out there on the court. Just how surprised were you to hear Kyrie Irving talking about his return in, in that way? Well, well, Mina, to be honest, when he started talking, the first minute I muted it. I didn't want to hear no more. <laughs> oh my goodness. Because he just No, nah, seriously, because I mean, he said a whole lot of nothing at that point. For real. And it, it, for real, man. He said a whole lot of nothing at that point. You know, talking about the direction that they're going in and things of that nature. No, you and Kevin Durant wanted to come together to the Brooklyn Nets to do one thing and one thing only, and that was to come in and compete for a championship, not get swept not throw people under the bus, not say we're looking forward to the offseason, making some adjustments, coming back, this striking hunger into us. Kyrie, you're not young, brother. You didn't been there before. If you're not hungry, just playing alongside Kevin Durant and y'all showing the world what y'all got to do. And you know the thing that bothers me the most? This is when I stop listening is that he always want to come and attack and say, oh, the media is saying this and the media is saying that. Well, Kyrie, you're giving us a reason to to say something about you. Like, you getting swept? That's giving us a reason to actually talk about you and Kevin Durant. Y'all got swept. Y'all got swept. Like, he said a whole bunch of nothing. I don't know if he house heard something in there that, you no. know, he could say, oh, Kyrie was right. No, 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 I didn't hear. You know what? He talked in so many circles, I started to get dizzy. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, man, hold up. <laughs> I mean, he going here, going there, and then now he then he start trying to downplay stuff, right? So that's what I don't like. Don't try to downplay it. Y'all came here, y'all got whooped. They had a game plan, y'all couldn't figure it yeah. out. They smacked y'all. The team smacked y'all. Don't try to start, oh, the team ain't been together. Well, who fault was that? Mm -hmm. You a part of that. You the reason and I'm not here to judge no man and what decisions he want to make for his life but at the same time you affected your team not being together then you told the heavy lifting what well, heavy lifting you did you played 29 games brother there you go you know I mean come on who created all that extra heavy lifting you Kyrie Irving so at the end of the day don't get on here and start trying to look hey, talk with the side slouched and get to talking sad and oh we got to get this and then talk, talking about upper management and having fuel for I understand you got fuel and fire to try to come back next you know, you got swept, and that's going. Everybody should feel that. Every competitor should feel that. But don't talk about oh, with upper management and all this and that. Because whatever y'all doing, y'all need to stop and let the people upstairs handle the business upstairs, and y'all need to handle the business on the court because y'all just got mollywopped.